This is module one, end of module review, page three. Our module was going over properties of multiplication and division and solving problems with units two through five and ten. First of all, your paper looks much neater than mine, but please let's pay attention to what the problem is asking us to do. Number three. Mr. Martin buys a box of cupcakes for a birthday party. There are four rows of four chocolate cupcakes. There are two rows of four vanilla cupcakes. The picture below shows Mr. Martin's cupcakes. Fill in the blanks to complete the expressions. When I look at the chocolate cupcakes, I see there are one, two, three, four rows. So I have four times four for chocolate cupcakes. When I look at the vanilla cupcakes, I have one, two rows of vanilla cupcakes. So I have two times four. A total number of cupcakes is how many rows I have in all. I have one, two, three, four, five, six total rows of cupcakes. So I have six times four. Letter B. Fill in the unknowns in the equation below to match the picture of cupcakes in part A. Use the break apart and distribute strategy to find the total number of cupcakes Mr. Martin bought. The total number of cupcakes he bought was the problem 6 times 4. He's breaking that problem apart into 4 times 4 and 2 times 4. I'm first going to find 4 times 4 and add it to 2 times 4. 4 times 4, 4, 8, 12, 16. If you have a hard time counting by 4s, use your array for help. 2 times 4, 4, 8. I have 16 plus 8. Once I add those together, I'll get my total for 6 times 4. I'm going to rewrite 16 plus 8 over here and add 6 plus 8, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then 1 plus 1, 2. So I have 6 times 4 equals... 24. Mr. Martin bought 24 cupcakes. Letter C. Reese brings four vanilla cupcakes for the birthday party. Show Reese's vanilla cupcakes on the picture in part A. Then fill in the unknowns to the equation below to match the new picture. Solve to find the total number of cupcakes. So first, I'm going to add the four vanilla cupcakes that Reese brought by adding another row of vanilla cupcakes. Now my total number has changed. The chocolate cupcakes are still four rows of four, but the vanilla cupcakes are now three rows of four. Use the picture above to help you find how many rows total I need to find the total for. Use the break apart and distribute strategy like I modeled in letter B to help you find the new total number of cupcakes. 